There are different types of long-term memory, episodic memory, procedural memory, and semantic memory. Episodic memory is the memory for episodes or events in your life. The context and emotions surrounding the event are remembered, and the memory is quite detailed. For example, a person might remember the first time they met their wife or husband. Procedural memory is the memory for skills such as how to tie a shoelace, how to swim or how to ride a bike. Semantic memory is memory for factual information, such as an orange is a citrus fruit, or knowing the different countries in the world and the customs of each one. So what is the evidence for different types of long-term memory? Brain scans have shown that different parts of the brain are active when using different types of long-term memory. Brain scans have shown that the hippocampus and other parts of the temporal lobe combined with the frontal lobe are involved in episodic memories. The temporal lobe is linked with semantic memories and the motor cortex combined with the cerebellum, which is involved in fine motor skills, is involved with procedural memory. Other evidence for the distinction between different types of long-term memory comes from the case study of HM. His episodic and semantic memory did not work, but his procedural memory did, and he was able to learn new motor skills. For example, he was able to learn to draw a figure by looking at its reflection in a mirror, a skill called mirror drawing. Alzheimer's patients have also been used to show a distinction between different types of long-term memory. Some patients can form new episodic memories, but not new semantic ones. Other patients have the reverse issue. And so this suggests that there is a distinction between episodic and semantic memory.